Wild joyride through the streets of Dorchester. The driver of a stolen car hit and damaged more than a dozen vehicles. And after all that damage, police say the driver got out of the car and took off running. Tammy Mutasa is live in Dorchester. Tammy, this is going to be expensive and a major inconvenience for people who owned all those cars. Yeah, Lisa, you know, it has been a very chaotic day, and the driver who owns the stolen car told me he is beyond upset that it has destroyed. A lot of cars were smashed on this very street we're standing. You can see that red car behind me. The front end is completely damaged. And get this, the suspect who police say is responsible for all this damage still hasn't been caught. You literally just wrecked my life by joyriding a car for no reason. Barreling down a Dorchester street, a black car is seen on surveillance video speeding erratically. What you don't see on video is that moments before that... Get the ping for that stolen motor vehicle. The prized 1987 Buick Grand National had been stolen from Dennis Harrington while he was at work. Then the suspect later crashed into dozens of cars. Dennis had put about $150,000 into the car. I was sick to my stomach. There's like no way I'm ever going to be able to replace that. Insurance is never going to cover it. Like it's just, it's, it's, I'm sick to my stomach. The suspect had used a screwdriver to swipe the car. Fortunately, Dennis had a tracker on it. He was able to tell the cops where it was going. So I pulled up my phone and was like calling the cops. Hey, listen, this is where it is. It headed to Center Street, where the suspect smashed into 15 to 20 cars, including Luan Dyes. His front end was completely ripped off. I was working today and then my mother called and um, said that my car got hit, which I'm shocked. Police say the suspect then ditched the stolen car running away on foot. I just feel sad for everybody in the situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope we get caught soon. The chaotic day ending with the suspect leaving a trail of destruction and frustration. Dennis had been saving up for the car for three years and planned to pass it down to his son. I hope he gets what's coming to him. Boston police say they have been looking for that suspect. If anyone knows where he is, please call police. Live in Dorchester, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. Tammy, thank you. We have breaking news.